Welcome everybody. Today we're going to go through a little demonstration of how you can download a Spice model off the internet and use it directly in Hyperlinks Analog. So let's do a quick search for linear technologies. I've used their products before so I know that they have Spice models. So let's scroll down here and see what we've got. Spice models. All right, now what's interesting about this whole process is that uh, Hyperlinks Analog su supports Spice 2G, Berkeley Pure Spice. And if you look here, you can see that these models are using PSpice compatible simulation syntax. Now, really, what that means is PSpice is uh, extended Berkeley Spice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use those inside Hyperlinks Analogs. So let's go ahead and download these models. It's pretty fast. All right, now let's open that file up, extract out the text file. Let's create a new folder. All right, so now we've got our Spice library. Now what I want to do is go ahead and take a look at that Spice library with a uh, text editor. All right, so quickly you can see this is a pretty massive library. It's got all kinds of parts in it. And we could, you know, read in the entire library at one time if we wanted to, but I think for this specific example, it'll make more sense just to focus on the first model we find. So let's see what we've got here. Here we go. This LF-155, that's a basic op amp. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Now let's create a new file. Put our model in there. Save that off. So it's the LT LF-155. Up amp. All right, so let's look at this a little bit. This is using piece by syntax. So you notice here that you've got your subcircuit definition with subcircuit name, the pins of the subcircuit in their order. These are actually not pins; these are connection nodes, but they represent the interface of the subcircuit. And then right here, here's a little bit of code that is a piece by extension. So what we're going to do is, obviously, this data is just supplying alternate names for the pins, the interface. So let's just convert that into a comment. And then that's the only thing we're going to do. And close that out. Now let's go ahead and bring up Hyperlinks Analog. And I do apologize, I'm running quite a few programs, and so it takes a moment sometimes for these programs to come up. So fundamentally, there isn't a lot of difference between PSpice and Spice. And in fact, there's actually a PSpice converter built into Hyperlinks Analog. But I just wanted to make the, the point that in terms of Spice, there's a lot you can do very easily. So we need a new project. And let's call this, you know, library import test linear technology. Set up our flow. All 
All right, now let's go to the simulation tab. And under Spice Libraries, we have our standard Spice Libraries that are delivered with Hyperlinks Analog. So now we want to add a Spice Library. And we'll navigate to our file we just made. So here's our file. Let's open that. Now you'll notice that we've now got this part, this library. And Hyperlinks Analog does have a color-coded text editor built in. That's a SpiceAware. You see that's the comment we converted right there. But otherwise, we haven't touched this model at all. Let's close that out. Now let's go back to our project browser. Let's add a schematic. And you can see I really haven't changed the default setup of um, Hyperlinks Analog or TX Designer out of the box. I did change the settings so that it would automatically add a page border. Now I'm going to show you just a little DX Designer trick. I'm going to rename this schematic. And I'm going to turn it to a summing app because that's what I'm going to design a mixer. So now we've changed that. Now in order to update that, we update the evaluated properties and your summing app shows up on your page. All right, now let's go back to our simulation library. Grab our part, drag and drop. And it's automatically created a symbol representation for us. Let's take a look at that. Now that's not the best symbol for this part. So in part two, I'm going to show you how to edit this symbol quickly and you know create an op amp picture. And then we'll go ahead and create the circuit and the simulation and run all the way through. Thank you very much. Hopefully you'll stay tuned for part two.